Thanks, Sam. Chance of yours truly picking up some change? Nothing doing. What do you mean, nothing doing? The tubs just come in. You get all your guys out on jobs. I could unload it all by myself if you want. I told you, no way. Why not? That's nothing personal. I'm just following the boss's orders. And who is the boss around here? Ask them. No, I was just asking him if there's any chance of picking up a job, Dick. Sure. Just kick back 30%. Yeah, but if I give you the 30%, there won't be nothing left. I gotta eat. Already you're too fat. Keep slim. It's better for your health. Now get moving. You're right. But if I don't eat, I can't go to the toilet. And if I can't go to the toilet, you know, it makes me uh, nervous and happy. That ain't so good. Ah, yeah. oh, it's a flat. Tell me there was a car to junk, huh? toward the exit to the port. Yeah. Hey, you okay? I've been better. I don't know why you did it, but thanks anyway. You're a buddy. I prefer to help someone who considers me a friend and not just another chop suey. Is there anything I can do for you? Don't worry, it's a small world, and sooner or later one meets again.
out of the way. Hey, Chief. I've got my stomach glued to my backbone. Got any work for me? Join the union. Give me a break. There's a freighter there waiting to be unloaded. Get lost. Something wrong? Miss Greaser wants work. Listen, Sparrow, you flap your wings on out of here. Unless you want to wear them in a sling. Did you call me a Sparrow? Yeah. Did you say they're going to break my wings? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> Let's see you do it. <laughs> oh, sorry, boys. Get wet for it, Polly. Yes, boss. Feed it. Right away. on the wrong side. Trucks to the right. Put your blinker on. Back up and make way. <laughs> hey, you're just gonna walk away? Ah, uh, you're chicken. I hate that when a guy chickens out, you big yellow belly. You trying to scare me? Go on, take a walk, you big banana! Get out of my 
way, you little gas bag. What do you mean, get out of your way? Me there. Yeah. Car, boss? No. Call a taxi. You know, buddy, we got a lot in common. I'm Matt Kirby. I'm not. That's a nice name. A little short, maybe. What did you bust up that car? Mm. It's a question of toilet bowls. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. You can't fool around with toilets. <laughs> and now that I've told you the story of my life, go take a walk. I'll be seeing you, you big banana. You have any reason for hanging around here? No. Shove off, then. Sergeant Adams, may I help you? Oh, you sure can. There's a bum just about to commit suicide. The Rochester Street Canal Bridge. Thanks. I'll notify the morgue. But he hasn't done it yet. Oh, then I'll call the psycho boys. 
Meanwhile, try to distract him, okay? With what, a lollipop? This guy's a regular bulldozer. Okay, I'll send an ambulance. But if he hears it coming, he'll jump. Don't worry, we use a two-door sedan in these cases, unmarked. And it doesn't come with a siren, Yeah, okay? that's perfect. Okay. Got some business for the loony bin. There he is. Pull over. Hi there. Hi. How's it going? Fine. Uh, kind of a nice day, isn't it? Very nice. Pretty hot, though. He's right. Hot as hell. If you're hot in that jacket, why don't you try on this one? It's last word. Hey, are you from the loony bin by any chance? No. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm the guy who called the police. What? The crazy guy's over there. He's an 18-wheeler. Is he dangerous? Ah, it's like a lamb. He's just got this thing about toilet bowls. Toilet bowls? Yeah. He says you can't trust the ones they make today. And wants to end it all. Mysteries of the human psyche. Yeah. The gas. Right. What's that? Sleeping gas. One whip. And he was drowsing off like a barren hibernation. <laughs> Great. Yeah, stay here. He might be dangerous. Okay. Hi. Nice town, hmm? It sure is. You call this a town? It's a big toilet bowl. Hmm. The gentleman said it. It's a toilet bowl. I don't get the comparison. Modern toilet bowls are masterpieces of engineering, which this town sure isn't. They may be masterpieces, but where's the joy of answering the call of nature at sunrise, uh, in the country, or by a flowing stream at sunset? Ah, oh, well, times have changed. I have nothing against the toilet bowls of today. How about you, mister? Neither of I. What I can't stand is turds like you. You're rude and antisocial. that can mountain air? Well, not exactly. Would you like to try this on? <coughs> Grab him! Let go, you big banana! <coughs> George! Hey, Bernie, how long does it take to cook two hamburgers? Man, they're ready now if you want them raw. Yeah. What were you saying? I'm tired of looking for a job. Well, it wouldn't take much to change our lives like that. Hmm? What do you mean? An armored car delivers the payroll to the supermarket every week. They go in a service store, not the main entrance, and... Hey. Hey, Bernie. God, it's hot today. Nice cold beer, boys? No, nah, nothing alcoholic. We're on duty. A Coke. Oh, when you're on duty, you don't drink, huh? No, where are you from? <laughs> I was born in Venice, Italy. And what are you doing here? You on vacation? No, sir. I'm a naturalized U.S. citizen. This makes 16. <laughs> How about that? 16? You yeah. sure don't eat like canaries. What's your top speed? Well, if you can stay on about 130 miles per hour. 130? You don't suppose you could let me try one out? <laughs> <laughs> Afraid not. Listen to police force. You'll get a chance. We've been thinking of that. Haven't we? <laughs> We need guys who are on the ball. Eat up, we gotta go. Where? Did you catch it's late. I'm waiting for us. Who? Gotta go out. We're good already. What? Attention all units, 16th District. We have robbery at the pawn shop at 405 16th Street. Units 2112 and 2111 throw roadblocks. Oh boy. That 
took off like a couple of rockets. How many employees are there in a supermarket? So many. And uh, in the office? A pair of old maids. Mm. What we actually need is a couple of guns. Mm. All we need is a couple of fingers. Oh, mm. I got those. Okay, friend. I'll see you Friday morning. Not so fast, partner. From now on, we're gonna cast one big shadow. That's so. As my old man always said, if you have a friend you can trust, mm -hmm. don't trust him. If it's one you can trust blindly, mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. watch out. Uh, well, I mean, mm -hmm. if you've got the blind friend, well, anyway, my old man had the whole thing down the head. <laughs> Great day come yet? Huh? <laughs> well, maybe. He isn't quite sure yet. <laughs> well, you'll never regret it. You're well off with the police. <laughs> By the way, did you catch those boys who robbed the porn shop? Uh, yeah. You bet. Fifteen minutes after we got the call, they were lying on a table down at the morgue. And by afternoon, their rotten brains were floating in formaldehyde in the criminal museum. Serves them right. That'll teach them. <laughs> right. Yeah, they don't get no pity from us. <laughs> well, so long. So, <clears throat> so long. So long. Yeah, take care. See you later. Nice guys. They'll remember this Friday for a long time. You bet. Let's put it off until uh, next Friday. No, got a dime? Just watch how your partner fixes things, partner. What are you gonna do? <clears throat> Keep cool, if they bite, we'll go through with it. The armored car will be here in two minutes. the police and told them there's a suspicious looking guy <laughs> hanging around the jewelry shop on 24th Street. Why? Watch. Hey, you're smarter than I thought. <laughs> I've crime in my blood. It all goes smooth, don't worry. As soon as the job's done, we'll go have some fun in Florida. We're already in Florida. We're already in Florida? Uh. Hey, it's coming.
your gun. Ready? Ready? Yeah. This is a hold up. Reach for the ceiling. You better say it. Your voice is stronger. Mm. Keep cool, this is them. Oh. A real nice day, isn't it? May I use the phone? <laughs> Get the door. Yes, sir. Well, boys, did you come to join up? Actually, it's an important step we're taking. So we wanted to check out the situation first before... Well, you're in the wrong place. This is the administration office. Oh, this is administration. Oh. Yeah, the recruiting office is in back of us on Atlantic Street. In back of us? I told you so. I told him it was on Atlantic Street, didn't I? Yeah. Well, if you hurry around there, you'll find Captain McBride in person. <laughs> well, hurry. <laughs> well, bye. Hi, fellas. How are you? Well, look who's here. So you've made up your minds finally, huh? We wanted to be sure. Where are you going? To see Captain McBride. You can go through the office. It's quicker. Oh, we can? Sure. He says it's quicker. Yeah, it's quicker. Hey, what's Baldy here been up to? Armed robbery. Some honest citizen called us and told us about a suspicious-looking character on 24th Street. We nabbed him on the spot. Uh-oh. You do the report. I'll show these boys the way to the boss. Don't worry, we'll find it. No bother. Come on, I'll take you to old Papa McBride. Right, Come buddy. on, let's go. So long. See you around. Papa McBride, he must be a real nice guy. After you. <clears throat> Come in. Morning, Captain. Morning. Where'd you catch them? Actually, they came by themselves. Uh-huh. Well, now, if you think by turning yourselves in it's going to help you, it's not. I'll tell the judge to forget that and throw the book at you. There's a misunderstanding, Captain. These boys are here to enroll in the police force. Here's their application forms and the files we have on them. Uh-huh. So, you want to be policemen, do you? First thing you're going to have to do is shave. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I don't like whiskers. Now, you're uh, Wilbur Walsh? Oh, no, that's him. I've got nothing to do with that. I just met him. Ah. Uh, it says here that, uh, it says here that you was kicked out of Canada for fighting, destroying property, and resisting arrest. You say Canada, sir? That's what it says, Canada. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember now. I was working as a lumberjack. Uh, rough and ready. The only friend you have is your axe. Always isolated in the woods with the wolves. Uh, nothing well, would work. So on a Saturday night, you went into town. Or he's hell between the booze and the chicks. You know. Fight starts up. You know the way these days go, don't you? No. No. I'm a Baptist. I don't drink. Yeah, I knew it. Now, you're uh, Matthew Kirby. You can call me Matt, Captain. Appreciate it. Now, what does this mean? It says here that you was uh, disqualified for being aggressive. Disqualified from what? From baseball. I was playing with the Red Foxes then. Red Foxes of Okeechobee? Yeah, and it was a great team, too. I knew that team. Captain, you want to know my side of the story? Yeah, there was this real blind umpire who called me out on base. I protested, but he wouldn't listen, so I punched him in the mouth. Who knows where that bastard is now? That's a good thing he ain't around anymore, because if only I could get my hands on him, I'd... Would you like his address? You know where he is? He lives with me. He's my brother-in-law. <coughs> oh. uh, no kidding. Gee, I'd like to apologize to him. He was, he, he was right after all. He's got a great eye and nothing got by him. What do you think? 
boys will be boys. Who hasn't tied one on one time or another? And besides, everybody calls your brother-in-law names. Hey, partner, how do I look best? Like this? Or like this? Thank you. Size? Not for me, thanks. Come on, what size do you take? Oh, size. X, 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 large. Eight flat. Fourteen and a half. Fourteen and a half? Tell me those gunboats are full of feet. Try these, and if they don't go, I'll get some pontoons for you. Next. Crime in my blood. You can't win them all, can you? Anyway, we flunked the final exam and screwed them out of 20 weeks of training pay. You think this train is gonna be a picnic? You got another thought coming. In 20 weeks' time, I'm gonna teach you how to make a proper arrest, how to drive a car at 200 miles an hour, how to tell the difference between marijuana and parsley. In short, I'm going to turn you into super goddamn cops. In exchange for that, the taxpayers are going to give you $250 a week. They're going to give you a paid vacation, a Christmas bonus, beautiful uniform, a lot of respect and esteem. In addition to that, at the end of 20 weeks' time, you're going to love me like your own father. should be here instead of here. Hands out of the window. Step out of the car. Step away from the car. Face me. Down on your knees. Lie down on your stomach. Arms out to the sides. Palms up. Turn your head to the side. Good job, Fred. Now. That was the correct procedure for making an arrest. Walsh! <laughs> Come on. Let's go. I taught him that one. Very good, Kirby. Very good. Captain. Let's go. 
You ever shoot before? Who, me? <laughs> Ready on the firing line? One bullseye. <laughs> okay, wise guy. You do better. Where did you learn to shoot like that? I've got bullets in my blood. Bullets. Now, boys. For good or for bad. Your training is almost over. Naturally, we have left the best for the last. Now, we're really going to see if you got the guts to be policemen. Are you ready, Doc? Anytime you are. <laughs> some gum. What flavor? Formaldehyde. I hate formaldehyde. And now, boys, I would like to show you. You forgot to thaw him out. He's as hard as a rock. Last night, I, I, I moved him myself from the freezer to the humidifier. Think the thermostat's broken? I'm sorry, Captain. We'll have to postpone it. Sorry, boys. The party's off. The Chinaman declined our invitation. Is he Chinese, Captain? I would say so. What happened to him? Well, we really don't know. We found him by Dock 16 last night, full of lead. I knew that guy. Oh, yeah? From where? Down at Pier 16, just before I met you. Hmm. Was he already horizontal? No, vertical. Actually, diagonal. He was bent over carrying a big box. He acted like he was afraid of something. He helped me out, though. Maybe he was a wharf rat. Did he have any identifications? No, he's just wearing a dirty shirt and a greasy pair of pants. Can I tell the captain? Nah. It's better to stay outside of these things. I'm sorry about that. Oh, uh, bullshit. I ask you to do one little thing and you can't Nobody do it. Oh, like you're a pain in the ass. My fault. Get the hell out of here, you asshole. Is the homicide squad dealing with this, Captain? No. No, the whole force. And if any of you have any ideas, you're free to work on them. And don't forget, if you need my advice, my door is always open. I like to help the young. Hey, were you two cellmates? Well, at the time I was... You were what? A truck driver. Yeah. He brought the lumber into the penitentiary. At one time, I asked him... Uh, for a ride. And I got the picture. It don't work. Been busted a couple years. Why don't you have a sign say another water? If I say it's broken, we'll put money in it. Uh, do you mind if I take a ride? Go ahead. <laughs> Awkward, huh? No. Watch. <laughs> You're a real turkey on crutches. <laughs> oh, no. Shut up! Hands up, cripple. <laughs> 
If I raise my hands, I'll go down like a rock. You don't say. Well, well. Oh! Go <laughs> <laughs> for the chest. Oh, boy, you can do it. <laughs> you can do it. Go on. <laughs> Off you go. Off you go. Off you go. Off you go. <laughs> Get him on his feet. No, no, no. Ah, no, 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 Thank you, good man. <laughs> Hands up, Yogi. Hands up, Yogi. I said hands up! Hey, mister. He can't hear you. He's a deaf mute. Deaf mute? <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> hey, this guy really is deaf. <laughs> He's probably as dumb as he looks, too. <laughs> <laughs> Even then, peace for a guy. He's a half-wit. Shut up, you! Hands up. <laughs> Let me tell them. I know their sign language. Okay, then make it snappy, Kim. Hey, you. Oh. What do you say? He says, you better take off, otherwise he's gonna shove your head up your ass. Can't he see I've got him covered? Sure. Hey. I ain't blind. Now they wrecked the place. 
Wait. Donations for the damages fund. There you go. Come on, come on. Nice. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. This is our territory now, so get out and stay out. It's all yours, Brown. I don't know what to say. <laughs> ah, a hamburger and french fries. Oh, you ordered them an hour ago. Hey, that's right. <laughs> Hurry up. Who's missing? Watch is missing, sir. Here he comes now, Captain. Take your time, Waltz. Take your time. We've got all day. Thank you, sir. Hurry up! Didn't I tell you to shave? No, sir. What am telling you now? Yes, sir. He did tell you. I heard him. Thank you, Kirby. Put your glasses away. Get a haircut. Uh. All right, men. I have good news, I have bad news. The good news is, you've all passed. You're on the police force. The bad news is, I will accept no resignations for at least six months. I will make exceptions, of course, for those killed in line of duty. Now, for your assignment. Nelson and White, car 75. White in charge. McGovern and O'Hara, car 64. O'Hara in charge. in charge. I didn't tell him to put us together. Shut up and show up. Wolf and Shoemaker. Car 54. Hey, you saw what he did. He cut me off. This is a police car, idiot. What did you do, Walsh? Kirby, what happened? What happened? What happened was as I was coming out, those two jerks cut me off. Walsh saw it too. Is that right? Captain, look who we've got here. Jim McCoy and Tom Crane. We've been looking for these guys for months. See that? When I saw who was in the car, I rammed it. I thought better that than a shootout in the middle of the street. Good thinking, Kirby. Good thinking. You all right, Walt? Take a lesson from your partner. Quick thinking always pays off. Take car 11. Go back to work. Talk about beginner's luck. Beginner's luck? I call it good training. Get this mess cleaned up, Sergeant. Things are kind of slow. What would you say to a Bergen fries? Right on, brother. Headquarters calling car 3211. Headquarters calling car 3211. Wouldn't you know it? You got 3211. Come on back. Have a disturbance reported on the corner of James and 10th. Swing by and check it out. 10-4. Knock 
it off. Break it up. Hang on here. My old man dropped dead on the stairs from a stroke. This lousy creep stole a false teeth right out of his mouth and sold him for nine dollars. All this fuss is for a little thing like that. Well, seeing as how we're brothers, you ought to split it with me. Yeah, the kid's got a point. It's not right. I found him first. That's enough. Give him his share. There you go. Oh, by the way, is it true that the university pays 20 bucks for a stiff? Yeah, well, that's got to be fresh. Yeah, I would just have to call an ambulance. So who's going to pay for it? Be our guests. Thank you. Hey, you know what? I got 35 bucks stashed away. We put our <laughs> hey, I got a five here. Great. 3211, call in headquarters. You got headquarters, 3211. Send an ambulance over to James Street. There's a customer for the morgue. 104. Hey, look at that. Thirty to eleven, calling headquarters. You got headquarters. Go ahead. Check this plate for me. One WW two three six eight one. Check if it's on the hot sheet and give me the owner. Airport, stand by. How much does a timekeeper make? <clears throat> sure ain't enough to go around with a beautiful babe in a car like that. Where does he get all his money? Headquarters calling thirty to eleven. Suspect vehicle registered in name of Fred Shine. 2016 Palm Beach Drive. That reported stolen. 10-4. 10-4. I'm gonna follow him. Fine mess you made. Get your driver's license ready, lady. Now, who's gonna tell the old man? Kirby in charge. I'm sorry, Captain. I don't know what the hell was going on. How I can you be so dumb? That's what I want to know. How? I wasn't watching. You'd him. better shape up or you're gonna be back walking a beat. Here. Isn't there uh, supposed to be a door on both sides? Uh, you don't miss a trick, eh, Chief? I couldn't help noticing. What happened? I just gave this lady a ticket, and we're getting back in our car. When these two big cars can ride at us, we just managed to jump on the hood in time. Who could be wanting to get you? Friends of the Chinamen. Or better yet, enemies of the Chinamen. Obviously. Obviously. Do you uh, happen to know, um, 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 do you uh, think you could, uh, could you, uh, uh, you better keep an eye on Pier 16. Pier 16. Exactly my thought. Exactly my thought. Very good, Kirby. Thanks, Captain. And we keep on with our investigation? Well, of course, I'm, uh, I'm handling this personally. But don't forget, if you have any Your problems... The door is always open. Just knock. <laughs> you say this is a hold up. You're always strong. Yeah. Well, things worked out anyway, if you ask mm, me. For the worst. Give me a stick of gum. Sure. Shoot it all. One Pacific Street, please. 
you say Pacific Street? Uh-huh. It's, uh, it's on the other side of town. But they told me it was near here. Oh, they were all wrong, believe me. Is there a bus that goes to Pacific Street? No, I'm sorry. But I can take you there. I was just going that way myself. And, and besides, it's part of our duty. If a taxpayer has to go to the other side of town, a police officer is obliged to give her a lift. May I? Interesting job. Sometimes even dangerous. But we're ready to make sacrifices to help the taxpayer. That's very honorable what you do. What's life in exchange for helping others? Nothing. You policemen have the chivalry of the ancient samurai. More or less. Only we don't go around pairing swords. What did you say? Oh, I was just saying you're right. Uh. Lovely here. Yes, you're very beautiful. Uh, if you don't mind my asking, what are you doing here in Miami? Now, where was I? I said to myself, if I don't intervene now, I won't stand a chance. So I smashed through the wall with the car, then jumped out with my gun drawn, and arrested all 36 of them. Alone? Why, sure. Who is it? It's me, Susie Lee. Susie. <laughs> Come in. Please come in. Thank you. Did you finish your joy, right? Look, this is a very interesting case. I'll make it interesting if you don't come back to work. I think come it belongs on. to the lady. Come on. Please, come in. Please. Please. Honorable grandfather, these honorable gentlemen are policemen. Why is he looking at me like that? Xem mặt mấy người này thì khó lòng mà biết tinh thần của họ. Nhưng mà cảm tượng là người lớn thì là người tốt. Nhưng mà người nhỏ thì rất là lão. My honorable grandfather says it's difficult to read your cow-like eyes. But he feels that the great dragon is good. And that the tiger cub is sharp and quick-witted. Thank you. Tiger cubs sure know their stuff. <laughs> Please, sit down. Thank the old bishop, but the big dragon and the alley cat have to get back to the street. Please. Please sit down. Uh, I guess you don't know, but the young lady's uncle... Better was... say the breadwinner of this family. Right. He left a month ago. For Shanghai, and since then, not a word. Nothing. He always sent word the moment he arrived, but this time... Nothing. Nothing. 
Uh, well, when did you expect your uncle back? Right. In a few days. But my honorable grandfather says that the moon is not laughing, and that's a bad sign. Oh. Uh, well, we see what we can do, but uh, uh, we need something to go on. I'll give you his picture. That's a good idea. We're in business. <laughs> that way the moon laughs. This is a picture of my uncle. have nothing with him. Maybe we're still in time. Let's go. I must have been born in Friday. Talking to yourself, huh? Yeah. Fred had given me a job in the dock that day. I'd never have met you, chum. He who finds a friend finds a treasure. Yeah. But he who finds you finds himself a cop. Six months go by like nothing. Why, that ugly son of a... Don't worry. I'll take care of everything. They're under my jurisdiction. Hey, we got ourselves a VIP. Did you say VIP? If we give him a rough time, we'll be bounced off the force in two minutes flat. Officer, I admit we were going a little fast, but we're in an awful hurry. You see, we were going to... Just Put your hands out of the window. Don't make any sudden moves. Come out facing me. Come on. Over there. Down on your knees. Down on your stomach. Stretch out your arms. Palms up. Turn your head the other way. Legs up. Now what? I can't remember. Shut up! Stand up, you bums. <clears throat> What's the meaning of this? Make one more move and you'll be pushing up daisies. Let's smell your breath. You smell like a brewery. You're in big trouble, pal, real big. It's you who are in trouble, I'll guarantee you that. You shut up. Give me your driver's license. Hey, Miami Club, Rotary Club, Country Club, Golf Club. Hey, you're big on the country clubs. <laughs> hey, Pimp. Pimp! I'll have you kicked off the force for this. You'll see. Ha <laughs> ha, kick off the force. <laughs> I'll buy you a drink if you can. What is this? That's the pass to the governor's mansion. Oh, yeah? What do you do there, empty garbage? No, I'm the lieutenant governor. Ha <laughs> ha you hear that? He's a lieutenant governor. Oh, is that so? Terrific, huh? <clears throat> Speeding and drunk and driving. You'll have some talking to do with the district attorney when I go your ass in. I hold that office. I'm the district attorney, and I'll see that you are ruined for this. Oh, he's a district attorney. Yeah. Congratulations. <clears throat> Who'd have believed it? No, I'll keep this. You take it easy. At 5 o'clock, you minute. come to the 16th district with a couple of good lawyers. You don't want to spend the rest of your days behind bars. All right. Oh, it'll right. give me such pleasure to see you guys thrown out on the street. I hope so. What? I sure hope so. promise you that. Now, don't move until no, you drive off. No, it's great. My office will see to it that they're thrown right out of this district. district. I won't have it. Nice going, partner. We'll be off the force the next to no time. Uh, you say this, so. Your voice is stronger. <laughs> Yeah. 
Monsieur Scarface is here, sir. Tell him to come in. Hi, boss. You got foot. Got back all of them. Ah, good. One more thing. We saw them two cops from the docks coming out of the Chink's house just before we went in. That's funny. Why, Chief? Uh, it's not a job for a cop on a beat. This business smells of the narcotics bureau to me. Want us to take care of them? And have the entire state police force on our tails? Nah. Six months in our hospital will be enough. Okay, boss. What do you say, Geronimo? $200 uh, to bust up a couple of cops in uniform seems stingy to me. It'll be our first offense, you understand? You heard the judge. Uh, what if we throw in some good stuff with it, 200 bucks? What do we do to him, huh? Just put him in a wheelchair for six months. <laughs> <laughs> He's on the warpath. <laughs> headquarters calling 3211. Headquarters calling 3211. 3211, come in, please. 3211 is all yours. Hold on, boys. McBride wants to speak to you. Hey. Yes, Chief. McBride here. Was it you two who was hassling the Lieutenant Governor? Uh, the law is the same for everybody, or am I wrong? That's just what I told them. They called me a few minutes ago, said they were treated like a couple of delinquents. They wanted me to, uh, suspend you from the force. That's what they promised us. Let them try. I'll raise so much hell, they'll have to resign. You did exactly the right thing. Is it worth it to go against two big-ass politicians? I told you you did exactly the right thing. Now, who's in the wrong is gonna... Do you don't understand. We were in the wrong, and... But right out. You and your great ideas. I only have vanilla left. Hey, Chief. Nobody makes vanilla like he does. Well... Give him a taste. Like it? It's easy for you, copper. You take advantage of your uniform. <laughs> okay. Four o'clock, parking lot, Orange Bowl. <laughs>
them is already split. One hundred bucks for me, and you keep the rest, okay? Okay. Break. Break. Okay. Break. Break. Right, 32, power. Right, 32, power. Okay, this time we'll show them. Break! Break! Remember the Alamo! What's your real name, Geronimo? John Philip Forsyth. An unusual name for an Indian. Okay, John Philip Forsyth. Why don't you tell us who sent you? I can't think of anything I'd rather do. Well, no. Yeah, sure, boss. I think so. He'll be here any minute. Yeah, I'll call you when he comes. Okay? Right. Hey, he's crazy. Come on. Come on. Spill the beans. Who's Geronimo? You don't know him. No. Ate it that pretty dumb. Smarter than we think. Did you hear that noise it made? <laughs> Those two are trying to pull off something big. That's why they didn't arrest Geronimo or any of you. When's the next load coming in? Friday. Uh, we got to distract their attention. Keep them busy till Saturday night. Well, I'll find a way. Now she'll find a way. What can I do? Phone your sisters. 
I have a little job for him. Oh, that's nice, Curly. Um, oh. oh, zero. Hey, what's happening? What's wrong with the old geezer? I've been robbed. Robbed? Last night, a little after we left. What do they steal, the mice? The kids' rag dolls. Rag dolls? Yes, all of them. Then they turned the house upside down. They said there should have been another one. My uncle brought them from Shanghai. He would always bring something when he came back from a trip. You remember the name of the ship he was on? No. <coughs> Nếu con rồng lớn mà nó nghe con hổ nhỏ thì chắc sẽ tìm ra được manh mối đấy. He says if the great dragon follows the tiger cub, he'll find the truth. Yeah. Tell the bishop that the big dragon followed this time cat once and got screwed for doing it. You run it. I don't understand. He says he agrees with grandfather. Bye. I have to keep an eye on the dragon. You know something funny? No, what? That Chinaman's following us around. That's funny. First I see him in the port, then in the morgue, then by pure chance we go to his house. I get the feeling he's taking a personal interest in the case. Okay. So all he's got to do now is let us know who killed him. Why? Oh, that's asking too much. Hi. High time. You in a hurry to see your mother-in-law? Wise ass. Hey, where are my french fries? <laughs> France. Headquarters calling 3211. Come in, 3211. Yeah. 3211 is all ears. There's a car stalled on Cedar Street. Check it out. 10-4. You better get going. <laughs> you better get going. Why me? Kirby, in charge. Yeah, and don't you forget it. I'd like you to meet our specialist, Mr. Wilbur Walsh. Miss? Uh, Miss? Angie, Angie Crawford. Miss Angie, Angie Crawford. Hello, Angie. And Miss? Galina Kochilova. Hello, Galina. And that's their car. You think you can fix it? I think the trouble is over here. I see you know just where to put your hands. You ain't seen nothing yet, Galina. Oh. I love your uniform. Oh, thank you. Yeah, pretty tough being a policeman. Even dangerous, but uh, exciting at the same time. I'm sure. Yeah. 
Do you live around here? Oh, no, I'm from Philadelphia. You see, I'm the Countess's guest. The Countess? Yes, my friend Galena's a Countess. No kidding, a Countess? Oh, yes, she's Russian, and she has a lovely place here in Miami. Oh. <laughs> It was the cable to the battery. See how good he is? He's wonderful. You're just too much, Wilbur. He's a good dancer, too. Well, thank you so much for helping us. We don't know how to show our gratitude. Do you think we can have you as our guest at the villa this weekend? Well, the address. Twenty sixteen Twenty sixteen. Palm Beach Drive. Palm Beach? Right. It'll be an unforgettable weekend. Yeah. Well, you can count on it, Delina. Till Friday afternoon, then. Till Friday, Angie. Okay. Bye. Bye now. <laughs> До свидания. What class? What? Russian countesses can smoke with one of these things is beyond me. Oh, here they come. Hey, Whiskers, go answer the door, will you? We oui, represent. If the gentlemen will come in. That's why we came. May I have your hats? Why? Well, I should think that in the house. Think again. Mm. If the gentlemen will come this way, please. Hey. We got a date with two seals, not with a penguin, buddy. Hey. So I advise Princess Valenska to buy this castle oh. now. Oh. Oh, Wilbur. Oh, oh, nice to see you. Oh, excuse us if we're not dressed, but it was just so hot outside that we felt we just had to take a dip in the pool. We don't mind. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, these are for you. Oh, thank oh, you very much. They're oh. lovely. Yes. You know, they're plastic. Yeah. You don't have to water them. Oh, Plus, that's right. they last for years. Yeah. Yeah. This is going to last two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pierre, please. Penguin. Well, we, we'll get into something more comfortable. And uh, meanwhile, make yourselves at home. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Uh, don't worry. Take all the time you want. <laughs> but don't be long, huh? Oh, isn't he cute? <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at this. What? This picture. We've seen her before somewhere. Hey, you remember Fred the Timekeeper? Sure. Who's this girl? That's White. And this is his house. Yeah. 2016 Palm Beach Drive. Yeah, but why? Because they don't want us nosing around, that's why. And now what? Now listen, I'm hungry. First we eat dinner, and then we'll see. You got a point. You rang, mademoiselle? Listen, Whiskers, cut out the French crap and loosen your garters. Now I want you to bring some booze, lots of booze, and during dinner keep the wine flowing, get it? Got it. In an hour, they'll be drunk as skunks. Hey, did you catch that? No. They want to get us drunk. No, right, so? How do you hold your liquor? Well, the first two gallons is okay. But after that, I could get rambunctious. What about you? Are huh, you kidding? I was weaned on whiskey. My blood's 86 proof. Yeah. Hey, here they come. When are we forgiven? You two could get away with murder. Oh. Sister, you're a real fish. Wilbur's a poet at heart. Well, shall we drink to our meeting? I'm with you. Well, in there, then. No, no, no. Let's just hang on the feedback. That's a good idea. Let's go, huh? <laughs> All right, then. This way, please. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hey, Gwen! Hey, come on, sit down. <laughs> it's a lovely evening, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, call for the feed bag, please. Pardon? A penguin. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> How about that? Is the Countess Reig? Yeah, she sure did. You may serve dinner now, Pierre. We will. Hold it. Hold it. Oui, monsieur. <clears throat> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He bought it at the convenience store. But it's good whiskey anyway, huh? That's right? right. Yeah. Oh, you mean I shouldn't have bought it? <laughs> oh, but that's enough. Uh, 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 uh. Come on. There. Oh, no, all right. Charlie. Oh, all right. Please. Merci, monsieur, but I don't drink. Shut up and drink. Oui, monsieur. To our meeting. To our meeting. To their meeting. Come on. Ha, 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 the hatch. Oh, uh -huh. ay, ay, ay. Very good, Can get another one? Ah. Oh, in Russia, we drink vodka. How about that vodka? Hey, I thought the sophisticated <laughs> brother were there in the picture. Oh, there? Oh, there. Uh, uh, yes, that is my sister, Princess mm -hmm. Alexia. Uh, uh, she lives in Paris. She's married to a prince. Prince Molotov. Ivan Molotov. Oh. The guy who invented the Molotov yes, cocktail? Yes, that is his <laughs> That's a great, oh, no, that's a no. terrific drink. It really helps you to keep you warm. And now, <laughs> here's to Molotov. To Molotov! Molotov! I don't drink, monsieur. Shut up and drink. <laughs> I don't drink, monsieur. <laughs> oh, good. That's the way. Slosh it down. Come on, Galina. Come on, Galina. Very good. Very good. Okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> Canard à la ronde. Salade rousse, messieurs. Oui, à l'oriental. Oh, à petit pois. Langus à la mayonnaise. <laughs> Give me, give me a small piece. They are pretty. Oh, sorry. Here she comes, Chief. Are you sure it's a white lady? Sure. She's giving a signal. By the time those shit-faced cops are in circulation again, the goods will be stashed and the ship out to sea again. Want to take it to the, to the usual place? No. I found a much better place. Get going. See that? They got some stuff through customs. I don't see anything suspicious. Everything there is suspicious, kid.
unloading bowling pins. Yeah, let's follow Fred's car. in there. He's parked. Now what? Beard and all, you look kind of suspicious. I've been following you. Can I help you in any way? Well, if you hang around here, do us a favor. Let's go. Once, twice, what? Open sesame. Should we go have some fun? in them. But you said it was only five. Now there's 18. Get away behind your boss. Come on, come on, come on. Check the buyer's pockets. Hands up! Couldn't we talk this over? No, Fred. There's a dead man involved. <laughs> it's so funny. Your guns are unloaded. <laughs> hey, didn't you load them? No, you just told me to clean them, not mm. to load them. Mm. And I'm supposed to follow his orders. Well, <laughs> may I use the phone, please? No. Hey, boss! I think I just saw two guys. 
Saturday Night Brawls, huh, Walsh? What happened here, son? Everybody 
have a look in the office. In that office? I mean it, boss. I seen these two creeps hanging around out back. I knew something was wrong the minute I seen them. Come on. Our little thing with the police force is over. We're rich. No, no. I'm rich. What do you mean, you're rich? Well, yeah, but... you did a wonderful job, Kirby. Wonderful job. It was nothing, Chief. Take care of this, Sergeant. It's evidence. Yes, sir. You know, Walsh, in the beginning, I didn't think you were going to amount to a damn. That's why we're going to hand in our resignation. <laughs> the only thing you're going to hand in is a complete report tonight in my office. Kirby, did I tell him to shave? More than once, sir. I thought so. Uh, uh, <clears throat> oh, please come in. Hi. 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 It's a pleasure to see you again. Please sit down. No, thanks. We're on duty. This is for the kids. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's good to see the children smile again. Ông ơi, làm ơn hỏi thăm ông hội nhỏ có tin tức gì trên nhà tôi làm ơn cho tôi xin biết. My honorable aunt asked if you have any good news for her. News? You know, in life, things don't always go as we like. Sometimes. It was uh, an accident. Yeah, it was an accident. In Hong Kong, he fell off a gangplank. But uh, the captain of the ship gave us insurance money to bring to you. Uh, oh, yeah, but it's not too much, you know. What do you mean? There's enough to bring him up well. My honorable grandfather says that only good men don't know how to lie. Well, we're on duty. We'd better go now. Bye. So long, you kind, generous dragon. So long, you good tiger cub. So long. Tiger Cub is a real SOB. And a good dragon is a sucker. That's it. Now that we've finished casting one big shadow, I'm splitting. Too bad. We made a good team. Ugh. What about the car? Do I keep it? Oh, no. We sell it. We go half and half. Attention all units, 16th District. Attention all units, 16th District. Captain McBride wants to speak to you. What is this, McBride? Pearson and O'Hara been seriously wounded in a gunfight. We need special blood donors right away. R.H. negative. Now, I'm counting on the old police force spirit, if any of you got it. Thank you, boys. McBride out. What kind of blood do you have? R.H. negative. You think you have enough of both of them? Shut up and step on it. <laughs> 